Okay, guys, so this is something new I'm going to try. So um, if you like it, please uh, let me know. And then uh, let's get into it. The tale begins in a small Scandinavian country, where the fields are flat and the people are happy. From this land I come from, where the weather doesn't change much from winter to summer. My story begins as an underdog story, where I worked to achieve my dream, but my dream was so far away. Whenever I got close to it, I stumbled. I was aware of my limitations, but that wasn't enough to achieve it. But through experience and with the right people around me, I lifted the burden of expectations that was upon me and achieved the first step in my dream. The first step, however, was on another difficulty level. A piece of me was often in the hospital which left the rest of me handicapped. Fighting handicapped without that part. More hardships came. This fate would change when I entered the land of the free and where all dreams could occur. The chips were down and I was close to succumb, but a part of me found an array of hope. This array of hope would later become the driving force in me achieving my biggest dreams. Though my doubters were many, I managed to come through and became a new version that I hadn't thought possible. The array, the hope. My achievement was just a little chip in what would later make me unstoppable. Suddenly, the dream changed, and the challenge upon me was a battle of not becoming complacent. Complacency was the enemy. Complacency was not a luxury I could afford, but what was the challenges that this complacency had towards me? What was I supposed to do to avoid this heinous crime? Most importantly, how could I avoid the pressure of complacency overtaking me? Words were exchanged. Encouraging words were given extensively. My land was behind me. All the pressure. The challenges were endless. Some I succeeded, some I failed. But somewhere along the journey it hit me. Everything suddenly the dream was not harder than to tie a shoelace, but how? Did my competitors fall off? Did I really just crack the code? Oh, the success. It's magnificent. Challenge after challenge, obstacle after obstacle. I sud suddenly perished in this environment and everyone was screaming my name. People from other lands screamed my name. A thing had changed at this point. I was the sole important piece in everything within my world, but also in everyone else's world. I was a leader of men. I was inspiration. But then a crack. What is it with this crack? It looks so innocent, barely visible. Now the shamans have noticed it and have predicted my downfall. But I could not hear them. I mean, why should I? I am the world. Another crack. And another. Suddenly, my world shattered and controversy hit me. I was blind to what even my closest had warned me about. Lying and deceiving had been something I had developed while I was atop. But now, I am weak. I have forgotten how I have to deal with controversy, but most importantly of all, I had lost myself. But 
I have to pretend. The lands must not see my weakness. I must uphold my strength. But I know it's gone. The shaman's prophecy had become true before I knew it. I now linger with a heart full of complacency. But is my story over? Have I outlived my dream? Only time will tell.